hi. I was just watching the news, same thing. Ukraine, 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 the Russians advance on, on Ukraine, and oh no, we put people. Well, what is going on? What really is going on? Is that the world is changing? Uh, we're going from uh, what they call this fossil fuel infrastructure to this new power wind and things like that. So, for example, the the main the main means of transportation in the world is cars, automobiles, right? Boom. And that was going to happen. All the every single company in the world recently, a couple of months ago, Toyota became the biggest in the United States. Toyota beat General Motors. So for the first time in history, a Japanese company is selling more cars in the United States than an American company, which is General Motors. Now what's going to happen? In, 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 the, next, in, in the next couple of years, all these companies have to change to electric cars, electric vehicles. I don't think what's going to happen. Excuse me, excuse me. Are you paying attention? Because not only, not only, they have to have huge batteries, and, and, and as I mentioned in a previous video, where, where the minerals for these batteries come from, mainly from Africa. Cobalt and, uh, I don't know, rare minerals, rare materials that come from, from child labor, actually. Really, really, seriously, from Africa. Everything comes from Africa. Not only that, in addition to that, they have to build a huge infrastructure to, to plug these cars. So see, for example, we're used to, you drive, and then boom, you stop in a gas station, and you gas up. You put gas in your car. Well, an electric car doesn't work like that. You cannot, you cannot stop in a Shell, Shell, Exo, Exxon, whatever. No, they don't have electric plug. <laughs> so, what's going on right now, they have to develop a huge infrastructure. And uh, how? What are, the, what are the minerals? Well, one of the, the, the most important minerals that this infrastructure needs is copper. Where copper is come from? Listen, I'm not going to make it easy for you. I wish I had the, the quick link. But you can do your own, your own homework. Look up where copper comes from. Copper comes from Chile. South America. How, how come you have so many goods in Chile? Eh, excuse me. Me no comprende. Me no comprende. Por qué derrotaron a gente. <sighs> because Chile is the, the biggest producer of copper in the world. So you cannot develop an electrical infrastructure without copper. You have to have copper. So, and the copper mines in Chile... Again, do your look it up, look it up. Amazing, they're amazing. It's like a, you know, the size of Massachusetts or something like that. You know, huge, huge, and they're going forever. In fact, they have equipment there. I've seen it in videos. I haven't been. I've seen it in videos. They, they have equipment that I never seen in my life. You know, trucks, trucks like <laughs> one, one truck. It's like, <laughs> it's like a blog. You know, I'm laughing. But what happens? So, two things are happening. You you have to develop all the different ingredients, all the different materials to make these cars. And you have to develop an infrastructure to support the electric cars of the future, which is every company in the world. General Motors, Toyota, every company, Rolls Royce, every company is developing electric cars. You got it? You got it? What do Ukraine have to do? Ukraine has nothing to do. It's a distraction. It really is. Because, I mean, when you look at the whole world, uh, Ukraine, you can see Uruguay, you can see it's like a, a little country over there. Uh, no, but you know, it's important because it has a nuclear nuclear plant. You know, the Russians are playing, you know, so putting their plane with the Americans. And, and they, oh, we have, we need wars. In addition, we have to have constant war, by the way, constant war. As long as it doesn't get nuclear, and obviously, the nuclear powers in the world, 
I am changing the subject. Who, 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 which are the nuclear powers? <laughs> well, apparently Russia is number one because it has more nuclear warheads than the rest of the world. I don't know how many, 300, something like that. Second, the United States. Okay? That's two. In addition to that, well, every, every the developed country, in England, France, I don't know. Everybody has nuclear weapons. And not only that, not, not only the big countries, but Israel has nuclear weapons, Pakistan has nuclear weapons, India has nuclear weapons. So, <laughs> what are we talking about? No, but, but, but as, I, as I mentioned before, the, the, the infrastructure, when we go to solar, when we abandon the uh, fossil fuel, fuels, now the whole infrastructure of the world is going to change. The whole economy is going to change. <laughs> right? Right? That's what I'm telling you. Oh, okay. No, no, no. I mean, <laughs> yeah, you do your own research. <laughs> love you, love you. Bye.